Hi Saints and welcome back to Wakefulness Theology. My name is Messenger Paula and today I can't even front. Um, it is my birthday, uh, 723 in America, 237 in France, July 23rd. Uh, thank you for your happy birthday wishes. But today I'm not in a good mood. Today I am grieving. Um, there is a heaviness in, in my spirit and on my heart and I don't feel like I'm getting the message out the way that it that it's supposed to be done. I don't feel like anybody is really hearing me. And so the oh, Yahushua, he came to me the other night and um, made it clearer for me to to um, get this word out. So let's try. So let let's try to. Um, be faithful and, and and get this message to you the way that I'm feeling it in my spirit, okay? So as I'm going along, we're on this series right now, The Secret Meeting Place. And this video I'm doing right here, I'm going to put it in the playlist for The Secret Meeting Place, but actually it's a side note. It's, it's I don't know how they say it. It's the warm up for the next part you see on the screen. You see these, um, one, two, three red circles. So this is what I'm about to get into in the next video. And it's really heavy. This is spiritually mature stuff. Not any blow joke can just fall into this video and, and ride with me. Not this one, the ones that are coming up. We're gonna be talking about aliens. We're gonna be talking about time travel. And when I talk about aliens, I'm talking about interdimensional beings who are at the end of the day demons, okay? We're going to be talking about the technology and how it is the devil's gate and it is it is the beast of Revelation 1919, okay? So this is happening. This is this is happening, okay? We're going to lose people, okay? This is serious. So um before I get into those really heavy deep things this is what uh, Yahushua showed me and told me. I'm going to show you and tell you this to prepare you for what's coming in the next videos. And hence, in the next few years. Okay, y'all with me? The message in general, he didn't give this to me word by word. What he did was he showed me something. And I'm going to show you what he showed me. And the understanding I had at the end of the encounter was... Either Holy Yahushua will reprogram you or Satan will. Um, it is Christ mind versus the global brain. Another way of putting that is it's Pi versus AI. This is not an opinion. This is not speculation. This is going to happen. It started in 2014, and this progress will continue all the way up till Gregorian calendar 2033. Okay, probably April 2033. At the latest. Either Yahushua will reprogram you. So I'm not talking about what you learned in church and Sunday school when you was two. I'm not talking about what your minister and your pastor has said on Sunday for the past how many years. Either Yahushua will reprogram you or Satan will, okay? This is where we at right now. Christ mind or global brain. Those are your choices. You got two. You got two and you got between 2014, which is past, and 2033 maximum to decide and get it together. If you're not in the Christ mind, it's about really get bad. It's about really gonna get bad. I can't even pretend to speak some English right now. If you don't get with the Christ mind and you go with the global brain, you're gonna suffer a lot. Pi versus AI. Now this is what kills me because people who don't believe in God, they can believe in AI. And AI ain't nothing but artificial God. 
So if you believe that man can accomplish all these things, why can't a supernatural being who actually created everything you see around you, why can't that exist? It doesn't even make any kind of logic. You mean to tell me the created is higher than the creator? Get off of your high egotistical crap. Cut it out. You got two choices. You got Pi or you got AI. Stop. Either Holy Yahushua will reprogram you or Satan will. Point. All right. So um, I'm. I'm, I want to apologize, but I, I can't even right now. It's my birthday. I got this. Think of my heart. God ain't playing. He ain't playing with me. And I, so I cannot play with you. Okay, this is urgent. And I think people are looking at my videos like I'm, I'm uh, you know, just trying to show something that I know something or something. No, no. Okay, this is going down, it's going down fast, it's going down now, and if you don't get with it, you're gonna be, you are gonna be taken by surprise in the worst, worst way. I got family, I got my nieces, I got my sisters, and, and I can't get a hold of anybody, I can't get them to hear me, I can't get them to take a minute to look at this stuff. So, um, okay, so let's just keep going. Exodus 3.14. It's very, very simple. I am that pie. I did the video series right here. You can look at it. Okay. So pretty much Exodus 314, 314 is pie. That is what pie is. Do, do you guys look at the picture on the screen right here? You see this, this, um, uh, it's glued on, you know, the Hebrew writing of, uh, I am that I am. This is the way it's written in Hebrew, and when you take the symbol, the mathematical symbol for pi, you can, I have, turned it around backwards, um, not backwards, but yeah, backwards, and I superimposed it on uh, I am that I am, and it's the same writing as in Hebrew, okay? It, there's just, the difference is there's one little tail um, on the letter, and I just uh, connected it, and you got pi. Okay, so in that video series, I was explaining Exodus 3, uh, 13 and 3, 14. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and I say uh, unto them, The God of your fathers hath sent me to you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? That is pretty much what happened to me. The Lord Most High, Yahushua HaMashiach, our Lord and Savior, has given me the job of um, interpreting names and, and interpreting the spiritual language, which you can find in Numbers 1, 2. Okay, that is the job that he's given me, and that is called wakefulness theology. I call it wakefulness theology because the holy letter 23, when I do the letter line, which is combining the holy letters, it says wakefulness theology. Okay, if you guys aren't following me, I got playlist after playlist after playlist. Go back, do your homework. Okay, got to catch up. So um, that is my job. And he told me his name was Pi. He has taught me this over many years. And then finally, he just was like, made it really clear to me. I am that Pi. I am that PI 3.14, which is the actual number of the verse in the Bible. Are you guys with me? And, and God said to Moses, I am that PI. Because over time, over millennial millenniums, you know, the languages changes and it got turned around and it, it, it was reformed or whatever, but it was originally PI. And he said, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath, I am hath sent me to you. This is the sign that God has sent whoever, right? In this case, it was Moses. He told me his name was Pi so that you would know that he sent me. I didn't learn that from nobody. I don't even know if you find it on the internet. Okay, so I hope that was clear. You can go back and look at those videos if it's not clear to you. The most high father, creator of the universe, he is that pi, 3.14, and all of those strings of numbers to infinity, okay? 
Now, he also taught me that those are not numbers. Those are called holy letters, the holy letters of his name. Okay. Um, I'm not saying that God is only pi. What I'm saying is that that is the, that is the building blocks of creation. He is the building blocks of creation. He is that pi. So AI and pi, P-I, you have to turn it upside down and backwards. You know why? Because that's what the evil people do. That's what the evil ones do. Isaiah 29, 16, you turn things around. It's pretty clear. Shall the potter be considered as equal with the clay? What did I say at the beginning of this video? They, the created, think that they are better than the creator. It's right here in Isaiah 29. That what is made would say to the, to the maker, he did not make me. Or what is formed shall say to him who formed it, he uh, has no understanding. That is exactly what they're doing. That is exactly what this is. Okay? The law of reversal. A lesson from the occult. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. And you guys know, just look on any TV show, uh, online, uh, music, books, whatever you want. That's the only thing that's going on right now. Is evil is called good and good is called evil. And you know it. Um, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and, and sweet for bitter. Now that's Isaiah 5, 20. So I just wanted to show you guys that Alistair Crowley, I don't know if you know him, but pretty much he's the father of Satanism. I mean, I, I don't know the word. Um, he's the one that brought all of that stuff to uh, our society pretty much and it is right here you can read for yourself a little bit but the idea is that they reverse things they turn things upside down and backwards on purpose it's a part of their religion the satanic religion that's what they do Anyway, we're also looking at the dynamic of Aleister Crowley's law of reversal, and it's not his law. He didn't make up nothing. He's just a fat, funky, crusty butt man slut who messed with boys and men and everything, animals too. But he is the father of the modern day movement of witchcraft and really Luciferianism. Well, Crowley talked about the law of reversal. He said that, that a man should learn how to talk backwards and walk backwards. Sound like the moonwalk. Yep, and um, write backwards even. So you find prior to Crowley's time embedded in the art of creating words by assembling letters, you find this uh, exemplified all throughout many words that we use each and every day. Okay, so when we're going to be, I'm going to show you, and I don't want anybody to be like, I'm making it up or I'm looking for something. No, it is their religion. This is what they do. It's written in the Bible and they just say it outside. They just tell you, okay? Look at back masking and music. It's a whole thing. All right. So this is what Yahushua showed me um, while I was sleeping and he came to me when I was sleeping and he told me about the verse where we were talking about in the last video where the um, the false shepherd or the idle shepherd gets his arm cut off okay do you remember that those verses we talked about all of those verses about getting your arm cut off right that's what he told me let me show you so on the screen you see pi an AI. So what I did was I drew, uh, I wrote pi again. And then when I wrote AI, 
I wrote it just a bit more round. Now, guys, I, I really hope and pray you know what AI is. That is artificial intelligence, okay? If you don't know artificial intelligence, you got a lot of homework to do, and I suggest you do it yesterday, okay? So he told me, Holy Yahushua, he said, you cut off the arm of the idol shepherd and you get pie. So what it is, is that they are counterfeit they are trying to usurp the role of the Most High Father. And it's right here in hidden sight. AI, artificial intelligence, is a copy. It's a sham of PI, which is, I am that pie. It is, I am. You cut off the arm of the idol shepherd, which was, AI, and you uncover Pi. Can it be any clearer than that? That is what Yahushua HaMashiach, our Lord and Savior, hallelujah, he came to me and showed me this. Okay, guys. AI is the counterfeit artificial God. It is the beast, okay? So as I've said before, everything you've known before, I've said this in other videos, everything you know before, just throw, throw it out the window and start again from scratch. Ask every question, look under every rock, okay? Because you've been lied to. You've been lied, you've been bamboozled, you've been hoodwigged, you've been led astray, okay? Start again from scratch, all right? There's no way that the people who have been leading us in the past could have known this because we didn't have this technology. So our minds could not imagine. And that is why the Holy Spirit has me going through Lord of the Rings, Troll Hunters, these different movies, these different songs or whatever to illustrate for our minds what it's going to look like in real life. Because what we have been imagining and what we have been taught and what we have been thinking is not it at all. But now we can see. So we have to look again. Either Yahushua will reprogram you or Satan will. Okay? Please stay with me. Right here, it says AI and the Antichrist. Now, I just looked up some stuff because I told you guys I look up stuff to support what the Father has taught me. I don't want us to use the word Antichrist anymore. We can. But as I talked about in the last video, there are five groups of Satan army, just like there's five groups of the bridal army for Yahushua, okay? So using the, the word Antichrist is just a generic term and it's not helpful because we don't know who we're talking about, okay? So I would go as far as to say perhaps AI and the uh, Prince of Persia who will eventually become the king of Persia. So here you can read this and it's talking about the dual nature of the Antichrist. I have this picture here, but um, you can Google it yourself to read it better. Pretty much I just put it to show you guys that the idea of the Antichrist may not be a human uh, like you and I, but, um, but either a robot or artificial intelligence first occurred to me in the early 2000s when someone complained that the art of the Antichrist would be a counterfeit, a false copy, uh, substitute or imitation of Jesus. The idea had uh, quite an impact on me. And so uh, on occasion when reading about Jesus, I would sometimes think, how will the Antichrist be like this? So then he goes through and he um, explains his theory, but it pretty much just supports what I'm telling you right now. If Mark Zuckerberg wins the presidency of the United States in the next presidential election. That's like 2019, 20, no, I think it's like 2020, 2021 or something like that. 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, yeah, 21. He's the Prince of Persia. If he wins, he's the Prince of Persia, okay? Um, and he will be the one to bring in this AIB system. And he owns the friggin' internet for the most part, Facebook and all of that, that's it. Google and all of that is him and he will be riding up and rising up this B system okay so this thing is here this thing is here this thing is here and people walking around like do 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 no y'all mm -mm, no 
no, 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 no. Everything about to change. Everything about to change is about to jump off and you're not going to know what hit you. If you haven't studied this stuff, if you haven't looked into this stuff, I beg and pray in Yahushua HaMashiach's holy name that you start to look right now because you got to protect your children. you got to protect your grandchildren from this stuff. We're talking hell on earth. Coming. Like within the next two years, we're going to start to see this affecting our daily life, okay? If not before, but definitely within the next two years. Are you feeling me? Let's look at this video, more of what Yahushua showed me, okay? So in this video, I told you you have to turn things upside down and backwards. So I inversed um, I, uh, PI, which is pi, and you make it IP, and then I just wrote the word address. It's your IP address. Do you guys know what an IP address is? It's your, it's your address, your website, whatever you have an address, it's called the IP. They took pi and turned it backwards. You know why? Because they know and we don't. They've known all along. It's been a joke on us. They're mocking us. They're mocking the sheep. They have no, I put no, sorry. They have known all along. Okay, so here's another video that uh, I put to illustrate what Holy Yahushua has shown me when I was sleeping. So you have pi. And then, so what I did here was I put the P backwards, because like I said, you have to turn it upside down and backwards. And then I put AI backwards as well. And then when you turn it upside down, you get IBM. Okay, so as I said, they've known all along. This has been encoded in, in, in our society, you know, and we, we just never knew. Uh, so you have AI that's upside down. So it's upside down. Um, sorry, it's it's backwards. And then you use that same M from IBM and it says I am. Did y'all peep that? I took AI, I wrote it backwards, IA. And I took PI. And I just wrote the P backwards as they flip letters all the time. They do it in logos all the time. And it says IBM when you put it upside down. And when you take AI and you switch it backwards and add the M like IBM, then you have IM. Um, YM, I cannot. The creation of a W. Interesting. W. W. Hmm. In French, the W is double V. Latin. Uh, you find double V for French. Excuse me. For, for W. So this is some evidence to what we know. That you have different forms of Hebrew, like you have different forms of English. You have Old English, Middle English, and Modern English. We have the same thing in Hebrew. One more time. The W. But again, we're going to take this in another place. The W, the twin. Okay, so the W, like we uh, just dropped in the um, lesson about the blood moons. The W itself is a combination of V's. Two V's right side up. One V in the middle, upside down. Each V represents the Hebrew letter V or Vav, which has a numerical value in gematria of six. Gematria is the correlation of numeric value to letter symbols. You find this in many ancient languages. Uh, Aramaic and Hebrew and uh, languages of that area of the planet, you find that it was rather common. <laughs> okay, because the, le the the number system and the letter system were one and the same. Even you even find that in Rome with the Roman numerals, which are letters. So anyhow, and of course we know that Rome learned 
all that they learned from Greece, and Greece learned all that they learned from Egypt. So we can take this all the way back to when pictures equal both letters, which are sounds for tones that create words, and numbers. All right. So now the W is in reality three V's, and the V equals six. So a W by itself is a six, six, six. So a W creates a beast. Believe that. We have your weight jammed at one time. Okay. Now But here you can see clearly how they play with the upside down and backwards with pi. Because they've known all along. This is another way to prove to you, hopefully, that what I'm saying is true. They've known all along. Um, if you don't know, Google has a subsidiary and it's called Alphabet. Okay, so... I want to talk about the meaning of the word alphabet, and I also want to talk about the timeline. So here, why did he choose the name alphabet for what is supposed to be the parent company overseeing the entire operations of Google? And so the CEO said, we liked the name alphabet because it means a collection of letters that represent language, one of humanity's most important innovations. I'm about to tell you guys what alphabet really means, okay? Think of it this way, letters are numbers and numbers are letters. When you have the Hebrew language and you have the Greek language, letters and numbers are the same. There's no difference. The Holy Father has told me that numbers are the holy letters. He is that pi. Therefore, the alphabet is holy. It is that pi as well. Do you understand what I mean? One is A, two is B, alpha, beta, right here, alpha, bet, one, two. He's the alpha and the omega. Those are letters. He is that pi, he is that alphabet. They took, they are just usurping, trying to usurp the role of God and they're not shy about it. They don't feel bad about it and they can bet that you don't know that you just don't get it, so they can do what they want, right? Not only are they just bold and brazen and just coming out and trying to usurp the place of God because you don't get it or we don't get it, the timeline is the same. The timeline is the same. That's why I am so adamant about this. It is the same timeline that Holy Yahushua has shown me in the Bible, in John and in numbers you can go back and look at those videos that I've done their playlist and I try to explain the best that I can it is the same timeline that is in the TV shows that I'm talking about it is the same timeline of this technology is right here it's right here this is telegraph UK okay alphabet becomes a holding company it is born in what year what year was it born y'all 2015 so what does that mean? What Did it just spring up in 2015? No, they was working on this in 2014. And you know that in the Hebrew year, April, uh, March, April, March 2015 is still 2014 in Hebrew. Okay. So I told you from the timelines, it starts in 2014 and 2015 is how old um, uh, Jim and Troll Hunters he was, uh, he turned 15, right? There's, there's uh, 14 markings on this ring, right? We talked about the 14, the 14 with, with uh, Paul's ministry. I mean, just, it goes on forever. We've talked about uh, Revelation uh, 14, and, and we talked about, I mean, just Revelation 19, 14. Just over and over and over with the 14, okay? This is when it started. The same timeline and the timeline that I have on my website is the same timeline for the technology so y'all think I'm playing you not me you think it's a game you think this is just some religious stuff of a crazy person it's not 
it is real and this is happening and you know whether whether you accept it or not whether you believe it or not it is going to happen okay either holy yahushua will reprogram you or satan will come on come on i feel it mm -hmm. oh yeah the oh. Nike Hamity scriptures, y'all. I, I, the Holy Spirit has given me permission today to come out and tell you about the Nike Hamity scriptures. I can prove that it's real. I can't do it in this video, but I will over time. I will prove to you that this is real. The Nag Hamdi scriptures what is right is for you to sing praise to God so it may be written in this imperishable book I shall offer up the praise in my heart and uh, as I invoke the end of the universe and the beginning of the beginning the goal of the human quest the immortal discovery the producer of light and truth the sower of reason the love of immortal life no hidden word can speak of you Lord my mind wants to sing a hymn to you every day I am the instrument of your spirit mind uh, in your plectrum and your guidance makes music with me <laughs> I see myself. I receive power from you, from your love, for your love has reached us right, my child. Oh, Grace, after this, I thank you by singing a hymn to you. You gave me life when you made me wise. I praise you. This is the point. I invoke your name hidden in me. I invoke your name hidden in me. What is his name? A E I O U. O E O E O. A O A O A O. A E I O U. He is that pie. He is that pie. Exodus 3.14 on to infinity. Google is calling themselves alphabet. He is the alpha and the omega. They want to take that. They did. They have. It's their name. Alphabet. The blessed little innocent spirits and the church. My name is Paula. Paula means little. Little. I have letter lines and it talks about me being permanent littleness. What does it mean? It's what I've been, the Holy Spirit and the Holy Father, the messages of these videos have been that we are the ephod, we are a weapon, we are the bridal army, Yahushua's bridal army. We have been sent here to bring down this system. We are Kleb in numbers. 13 and we are to go to the mountain and take it over this is all spiritual as I've said before I'm not talking about any kind of physical violence or violence of any kind that's not what I'm talking about this is spiritual war right here the immortal father knows that deficiency of truth came to be among the aeons in their worlds so when he wanted to bring down the rulers of perdition by means of their modeled creatures, he sent the blessed little innocent spirits who are like you down to the world of perdition. They are not strangers to knowledge. All knowledge is in one angel who appears to them. This angel stands before the Father and is not incapable of giving them knowledge. When, whenever they appear in the world of perdition, the, bless, the blessed spirits immediately reveal the pattern of incorruptibility so as to condemn the rulers and their powers. That is exactly what I'm trying to do here. That is exactly what I'm trying to do here. I want you to know the Nag Hammedy scriptures are real what they are they are 
It is a treatise. A treatise is a secret book. This treatise that I'm talking about, the Nag Hammadi scriptures, their secret, it is a secret book revealed to James and Peter by Jesus. It's written in Hebrew, meant for ministers of the saints, the 1111. The Holy Father has given me a book cipher in this book that has allowed me to translate his hidden, secret spiritual language for the saints in the last days to not be deceived by this B system that is rising up right now. It is called wakefulness theology. All it is, it's not a religion. All it is, is the ability to build your spiritual eyes, to build your spiritual ears, to, to, be, to learn to speak in the Holy Spirit and walk in the Holy Spirit continuously with the armor of God, the Most High Righteous Father to get through this because fire is about to burn through the church. Do you hear me? Right here. I told you guys about the letters and that's why it's called Wakefulness Theology. It's right here. Look at it. I'm telling you this book is real. These are real. It was hidden in a cave and it was um, found and it was translated not that long ago. And inside is a hidden code for us to understand what I'm what he has shown me, okay? He revealed it as knowledge that in the harmony with the expression of his will, that is, knowledge of the living book, which he revealed to the eternal realms at the end, the number, the holy letter 23. Today is July 23rd. It is my birthday, okay? 23. As his letters, his letters, the alphabet, his letters, I am that pie. They are called holy letters. And what I do when I translate them, I combine two of his holy letters and I make a sentence so that we have more understanding of that communication. They're called le letter lines. Okay? He showed that they are not merely vowels or consonants. They're not merely vowels or consonants. So that one day, so, so that one may read them and, and, and think them devoid of meaning. Don't read them and think that it's just some flat on the page. Rather that they are letters of truth. They are alive. They speak and they know themselves. Each letter is perfect. Truth, like a perfect book, for they are letters written in unity, written by the Father for the eternal realm, so that by means of his letters, they might come to know the Father. Yoli, holy Yashu, holy Yahushua will reprogram you, or Satan will. Do you hear me? This understanding will reprogram you. It has reprogrammed me. My friends and my family, they don't recognize me. I'm a completely different person. Completely. They will testify to that. It reprograms you so that by means of his letters, they might come to know the Father. This wakefulness theology that I'm talking about will reprogram you and bring you closer to the Father so you can understand his communications. He is constantly talking to us, constantly, constantly. Our phone numbers, our addresses, our license plates, our, everything is in, in cold barred right now, everything. You can read everything with wakefulness theology, with understanding that the Most High Father, he is that pie. On the other hand, we have AI, I can't talk about it in this video, but in this series, the, the, the series that this video will be found in on a playlist, talking about the secret place. In this series, in the next video, I'm going to go into more depth about AI, the one web, virtual reality, robots, the IOT, which is the internet of things, which involves the global brain all of that is connected how many we got one two three four five because the iot and the global brain i think is a, probably the same thing i'm not sure i'm not an expert on it yet but um i got the basic idea um 
so these things which probably we could put down to five like I said the IOT internet of things and global brain that maybe that could be even perceived as the same thing they will be used together in conjunction together to to reprogram us and to take over us like I talked about in the dark um, mirror the black mirror playlist you can look at that to have more information pretty much to disconnect us from the Holy Spirit and the Most High Father and chain us to hell forever it is the devil's gate y'all you if you don't know about this stuff start doing your research and I'm gonna do my best to explain it to you but all of this stuff is gonna hit humanity at the same time and you're not going to know what happened. The world, the society is going to change overnight like that. It's going to just be awful. And our children are going to be trapped in this stuff. If, if somebody does not stand up and tell them how evil it is. And not only tell them, you can't just point at it and say it's evil. You have to say why it's evil. And that's what I'm trying to do. So please help me. Please spread the word, guys. We got to tell people not to go into this thing. Don't go into that. Don't go into it. Downloading humans right here. Elon Musk's the Neuralink. Could we upload our consciousness? Download your mind. You see this? You see the number I took it? I didn't plan that. It was 9-11. I did not do that on purpose. 9-11. When I took the picture, this is 9-11. This is urgent. This is warning. Warning. Ooh. Many years ago, um, every time I went to sleep, I journeyed in my sleep and I went to a spiritual school. The angels taught me, the Holy Father taught me, the Holy Spirit taught me, Yahushua taught me. They downloaded me with information and it just happened just like, I'm sleeping and it just was like, and I'm falling through space and just while I'm sleeping going through school and it was not something I could consciously understand what they were saying it was just coming so fast it was like going through a wormhole or something the feeling of just being downloaded okay um, sometimes I was in a chair um, with a pen and a pencil in I, I don't want to say it was heaven space I, I, don't, I don't know but I, I went through school I was downloaded with information and I went to spiritual school in my sleep every night for a period of I don't know two or three years um, like around 2007, six, seven, I don't know, around that time. That is the same process that they want to do here. They want to reprogram you this way, but Yahushua will reprogram you through his holy letters and he will come to you and download you with information. He has, he, he is, or he will. Okay, but you have to, um, you have to ask him, call out to him, uh, get on your knees and, 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 and say, Holy, Holy, Holy Father, Holy Rabbi, um, Holy Spirit, I welcome you in my life. I welcome you in my life. Have your way with me. I, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart and, and make this stony heart a heart of flesh. I will follow you and, and I will keep my eye upon you. Please come into my life and save me. He will. He will and he will never leave you. But you have to do this fast. You have to do this now. And if, and if you're not ready to take that step, that's fine too. But look into what I'm telling you. Look into the technology and you're going to see that it is parallel to the spiritual world. And what's going on that I'm, is going on in the spiritual world is parallel to what's going on in the, the technological world. This is the same. They are counterfeiting, counterfeiting, imitating the Most High Father, trying to at least, and they are bringing hell to this earth. Do you understand? Satan is assembling his army. We're, we've talked about that a little bit in the last video, and it just happens to be Revelation 19:19. 19, 19. We talked about we talked about 2019, talking about that's when one of the first groups of saints are going to go because of John. John um, 
21, 19. And if you look on the screen here, it's talking about this is the way that um, he is going to glorify the Father in his death. And so when we broke down the um, timeline and I was doing a comparison with wakefulness theology, that's how I understood that the year well, 2119, John 2119 represents 2019. And that's all in this video if you want to go back and see more details. Okay, so we have in John, we have in um, 2019, deaths of his saints. Um, and there's, there's other reasons why that as well, but we'll just keep it simple for now. Understanding that message, and I could go up to 20 because you have April to April in Hebrew. And then here in Revelations 19:19, um, 19, 19, it's talking about Satan gathering his army. Okay, and we talked about who these people represent in the cartoon. We haven't really pointed, said who they represent in real life or the people they represent in real life because I don't know yet. We will know early 2020s. We can speculate. But the point is not that for this video. The point is that Satan is gathering his army and they're ready to bust a move in 2019. It's 2017. We got two years. You got two years because once the masses of the people see it with their eyes, it's too late. It is too late because we can't stop this. There's no stopping this. The only thing we can do right now is try to get as many people out that dirty water. Yell. Tell them to get out of the dirty water. Okay? Because if they don't, they will be electrocuted. And I can't do anything about it. I can't get anybody to hear me. I can't get any of my family or friends to take this seriously. Um, I can't do anything about it except tell you on this video, pray that it's enough and pray that no matter what happens, I've done a good job to to share the message that Holy Yahushua has given me to share with you. I, I pray that you understand what I've said. I pray that it's clear um, here on uh, Revelations, um, uh, what is it, 1920? It's talking about the mark of the beast and worshiping his image. We're going to talk about that in the next uh, few videos when we talk more about technology. And um, that's the end of this video, guys. I've, I've, I've said everything I wanted to say. I'm sorry if I screamed a bit. Um, I just had to get it out. It's my birthday, and I don't want to walk around being bummed all day. So you've helped me to feel better. I've released some of the anxiety. Duality, a reflection as if it were the same, but artificial and evil aliens. So this is just a re repetition of what I've already said. They're creating a duality, right? Um, and this, we're going to talk about this. It's represented by the goddess Janus. And that's why the title of this series is Janus, right? Um, so that goddess represents uh, the duality. And that is what they're setting up here. They're setting up a fake meeting place. They're, they're setting up a fake world, a fake reality, every, everything opposite of what is true. And um, we have to see through that illusion and we have to tell people. Um, and it does involve aliens. And when I say aliens, I'm talking about demonic, um, trans-dimensional beings. And that goes into CERN, so it gets very, very deep. That's why I'm just warning you now in this video how serious it is, how deep it is, and, and to, to know that you need spiritual maturity to deal with these topics. And so we need to uh, get ready and we got to get ready fast. And that's the end. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm sorry if I've put any kind of anxiety on you. What I would just say is to pray. Go to the Father. Um, if you already have a ministry, maybe I'm putting, I hope that I put a little fi more fire because I know we all have fire and we all have this urgency to do it. But um, I just want to give a timeline to it so that we specifically know, specifically we're dealing with two years, okay? For the most part, I guess I could say that um, we touched upon understanding the deception a little bit better today. So uh, hell is a real place, y'all. It's a real place. I pray that none of Yahushua HaMashiach children 
are left behind and that we all make it back home to be with the Most High Father and that we all are successful in our ministries and accomplishing the things that the Most High Father has put us here on this earth to do. Amen. I pray that we we, we come together as the, the 12 tribes, as the five groups of the bridal army, and we kick some wicked butt. In Jesus' name, I love you. Thank you, Holy Father, for this message. Thank you, Holy Yahushua. I pray that I've done a good job. Love you. Thank you for sharing this moment on my birthday with me. Shalom.